the ellipse 3. Given the major axis and the minor axis of an ellipse, major axis the minor axis, draw the ellipse using a trammel method. A trammel refers to a piece of paper like this. So you lay it along one of the axes. So it's along the major axis here. We mark the end point here and just mark P there. Now mark the position of the minor axis here. The minor axis I've drawn in black, so I'm going to mark that point in black. I'm going to write down minor on the trammel. So that point must stay on the minor axis. Now rotate the trammel around until you get point P at the top of the minor axis. And now mark the position of the major axis. So I'm using the red pen because I've drawn the major axis in red. Now rotate the trammel so that the major axis point stays on the major axis and the minor point stays on the minor axis. These two points must stay on the axis. So when you get to there, the minor point goes on up the minor axis and you continue right around the ellipse. So now we're going to mark the points. That's the end of the major axis. Now rotate it to the first position you want. Get the two points on the axis and mark P. Two points on the axis, mark P. The two points on the axis and mark P. And continue doing that for the full circuit of the ellipse. When you get to this vertical position here, now the major one moves across the major axis. Mark your point and continue doing that right around the curve. Now, that's the points all located. Now, line in your curve lightly. And then, line it in with a heavy line. And that's your ellipse tree complete.